Bonus, July 21st, 2020. What is your future hold? What is your future hold, Virgo? We are getting in Leo season, if not today, tomorrow. Happy uh, be Earth Day, Solar Days to Leos out there. If you are a Virgo, uh, what is it? Virgo Leo cusp, or no, Cancer, Cancer Leo cusp, Leo Virgo cusp. Yeah, I was right. I think I was right. Happy birthday to you. All right, this is for your rising sun, moon, Venus, cross watchers, and cuspers. For the Virgo in you. Yes, that. Yes, that. That part. That there. All right. Thank you, Spirit Source Energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's your little stuff there let's see what's going on this is timing so whenever you get it you meant to have it virgo okay we want to look and see what your future holds not very far future future but close future okay uh like say now to the end of this year <laughs> what is that july what five months because it's in july now august september october november december five months let's see what energy has for you guys what your future holds uh within the next five months okay spirit source energy is timeless whenever you get it it's meant for you to have it virgo if it does not resonate leave it right there on the eye of Ra. Is my cards upside down i just saw one upside down thank you spirit source energy what message do you have for virgos what is their future hold one to six months from now spirit source energy what do you have to tell virgos what is their future hold? What's headed their way? Ooh, lady. Enjoy growth and reap your rewards. Virgo. Wow. Seem like y'all about to get a harvest. That's what it seemed like to me. Okay. Let's do our moon. Spirit source energy. What do you have for Virgos? What do they need to know about their future? What's happening in their future now until the end of this year? Spirit Source Energy. What is headed toward Virgos? Spirit Source Energy. What is headed toward Virgos? You got Virgo in your chart. Rising Sun, Moon, Venus, Cusper, and of course, Cross Watchers. They know they got to flip the script. Spirit source energy. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Uh, Earth energy. Wow. So in order to reach your plans, Virgo, you got to be practical with your spending. Because we know Taurus is a house of money. Okay. Rules the house of money. Finance, right? Material assets. So this is saying you, your dreams need a practical plan. You need practical goals. You need probably financial goals, business goals, personal goals, you know, relationship goals, you know, all those goals, all right? Right? What are your emotional goals? What are your physical health-wise goals? Everything can have a goal. Get it done. Practical plan. Taurus, okay? Surrender to the divine, full moon. Woo, that was strong. Surrender to the divine, it said. It did say that, you know. I didn't say it, the card said it. Surrender to the divine. Okay, spirit source energy, what is in Virgo's future? Uh -oh. What is in Virgo's future, spirit source energy? What is going on? Let's look into their future now until the end of the month. Not far, just five months. What's going on with Virgo in the next five months? Energy. What do they need to focus on? Their attention. Oh, got to get my candle lit. What do they need to work on? Ooh, 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 ooh. Nine to five. What a way to make a living. I don't know where that came from. 
Maybe y'all finna give up y'all nine to five. Maybe that's your practical plan is to give up your nine to five and have a, a practical plan, some goals, something. Cause that nine to five show popped up in my head. I'm like, what the hell is that for? That was like old school TV shows. Like I grew up to that. What was that called? Eight is enough or something other, uh, uh, nine to five. What? I forgot the name of that damn, uh, TV show. <laughs> or is it just a song? I don't know. All right, Virgos, Spirit Source Energy, what is going on with the Virgos in the next, uh, to the end of the year? We'll say to December 2020. What, what are they future hold? Spirit Source Energy. Woo. Queen of Swords, overall energy. Woo. Look at her. Somebody got some lovers inside here. Woo. Woo. Okay. Queen of Swords Energy, being truthful with yourself. Okay, being truthful, standing your ground, being clear, concise, cutthroat, ain't taking no hog wash. Okay, Virgo, lovers. Ooh. Then you have Knight of Cups. Mm. Then you have Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. And then you have Five of Cups here. One more card, Spirit Source Energy. Let's see what's going on in your future, Spirit Source Energy for Virgo. There's a jumper, Seven of Swords, Deception, Trickery. Ooh. Wish Fulfillment, underlying card here. Nine of Cups. And the next one is your decision. Picking a path. Okay. Picking a path. Okay. Let me move my cards over a little bit. I got to move my cards over because they like all in the way. So your overall energy again, I'm going to have to go to the podium because the battery flashing at me and I will be, uh, it be shutting off. I've been running my mouth today along with doing video. So my battery is not charged all the way yet. Okay. This is what's going on in the next five months, okay, for you guys, okay? Again, overall energy, queen of swords, standing in your power, cutthroat, speaking the truth, organization, highly intuitive, using your intuition, uh, having that sense of self-control, uh, right? That structure, that organization. This is your Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You might have that in your chart or working in that in energy or someone around you is in that energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here with the Nine of Cups, getting your wish fulfillment. Okay, speaking your truth and standing your ground. Again, you know, getting your wish fulfillment. Okay, getting that prize. Okay, now coming in for ooh, July, Leo season is the Lover's card, the Gemini card, right? This is Gemini. This is about a love connection soulmate connection okay um this is the knight of cups coming in on was it july august august will be the knight of cups will be your theme coming a message coming in from someone heading your way also communication and action uh coming in for was it september around september you're going to be taking action. You're going. Someone's going to be coming in, communicating with you on both of these. On uh, August and September, you're going to have communication coming in. Okay. Now, let me see. July, August, September, October. Well, this is Leo, so this will be August, September, October, November, December. Okay. So this will be November. There is a sense of loss. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, uh, mourning, crying, in, crying over spilled milk, uh, and also December, Seven of Swords energy, trickery, deception, lying, cheating, and I mean your heart evidently between November and December, you're mourning off over something, somebody uh, being manipulative, somebody playing tricks or being deceptive or not being honest in communicating their expressed feelings or taking you taking advantage of you 
okay? So you're crying over spilled milk, forgetting what you actually do have uh, still available to you, but you're crying over like lost job, lost relationship, anything that was emotionally balanced and stable for you uh, with these three cups here. This is like a third party that ended. Maybe you wanted to be in a third party. I don't know. Okay. You're crying over something that didn't happen. Okay. That you expected to happen. So there's a sense of loss here with the five of cups. The seven of swords, again, someone being slick. There's a fox. Someone spying on you. Someone uh, trying to steal your, your ideas. Okay. Because you're dealing with swords. So you might want to check your surroundings okay because somebody's being deceptive okay you have a choice of lovers here is what i'm seeing knight of cups and a sword of cups and you're having to use your intuitive nature to decide which one you're going to go with here as your wish fulfillment. Somebody out there playing the field. And that's why you got a decision right there. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Because you got a choice to make. Yep. Mm -hmm. You being given another chance, but then you're undecided. See, there's those three cups again. See, you, you, you were crying because you, you took this offer or you don't want to take this offer. And when you didn't, you lost out star card wish fulfillment that was a, that was those two cups behind you that soulmate connection king of wands energy mm -mm -mm. got an offer coming in a proposal mm. spirit source energy let's clarify these for virgo see what's going on from july to august with the lovers card here spirit source energy thank you clarify the lovers card spirit source energy for virgo what does their future hold with the lover's card? What does the future hold? Ooh. Whoa. 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 And a whoa. Somebody. Um, hmm? Is in love with themselves. <laughs> Someone is calling for a new beginning. Maybe this lover's card didn't act, didn't happen the way it, it was supposed to with this Gemini energy. Because here you are showing up single, Virgo. You're showing up balanced, uh, having money, having stability, having self-care and self-worth and self high self-esteem. You value yourself. So you're, you're, <laughs> you might be longing for a commitment here. Or wanting a commitment or deeper level commitment with this lover's card but it doesn't show you actually in one some of you may be in one okay and some of you may not be in one yet some of you may be looking forward to being into a, a commitment a balanced uh, loving uh, romantic commitment with the uh, lover's card okay but as of this card someone single okay very much available and very much have choices in what lovers they want to entertain here. Because you're looking attractive, sexy. You're looking handsome if you're a male Virgo. So you're looking like uh, filet mignon <laughs> or some caviar maybe. <laughs> some kind of delicatessen, right? You're looking good, smelling good, feeling good, walking good. You know, high value, high self-esteem, self-respect, right? You're loving on yourself. That's the self-care, self uh Nurture self healing card here. This is you enjoying your sexy single life, right? This is your independence. This is you enjoying the fruits of your labor. Like you already know that I, I can be in a relationship with myself and feel this love and gratification. And I'm okay with it because you got the material wealth and the abundance to uh, that says I love myself and before I just pick any mate, you're going to make sure that this person, whoever you're looking forward to or looking at as a commitment, can match what you have going on here. Ooh, that's a vibrational match. 
damn, that's an energetic match. Y'all have to make sure, Virgo, that this person is on your level energetically. Like, ooh, yes, indeed. Y'all got to make sure this person match. Woo. No wonder it said dream and need a practical plan. And then I end up saying relationship, personal, goals, business, okay, health. Because this person has to match your energy. You're full of vitality and life and something. You don't want nobody sucking your ass dry because they got low fucking energy, no stamina. They got problems down between the legs, you know, can't hold water, whatever, you know, the case may be. Y'all want somebody that can, that the passion is there, that the stamina is there, their ability to keep up with you. Ooh, wait, who the hell is that? Oof. Dang, Virgos. I almost said Gemini. So y'all must have Gemini in y'all chart. Uh, and that energy is coming in fast. Communication is back and forth. You're getting all these text messages, all this communication in. You know, people wanting to, you know, you're wanting a new beginning. You're calling for it. You're, you're, you're looking very, this is your fire sign again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And you're, and you're feeling good about yourself. Like the, the horn has been blown. Okay, it's a new day. I hear in Nina Simone, it's a new day. That song, that slow kind of jazzy song, Google it. I forget the words, but that's the high priestess, Nina Simone, baby. I love me some, some goddess, high priestess, baby. Because you know what she said, when love ain't being served, you better know when to get the fuck up away from that table. Now, I put that part in there, but what it says is when love is no longer being served, you got to know when to walk. You, you got to know when to leave the table when love's no longer being served. Okay? So that's the same thing. If you can't get this, if you can't get these new beginnings, you just as well going to be single and enjoying your life, baby, because you just not going to settle. This is I'm not fucking settling card. <laughs> <laughs> that's the i be goddamn if i fucking settle car let me just go ahead and clarify that for those that uh need that extra emphasis on the shit that's the i be goddamn if i fucking settle for less baby because that is true motherfucking independence right there so y'all better get what's the fucking program because it's a what it's a judgment day for some people you gonna miss out that's true you're gonna miss out because this person ain't honey they may want you but they show as hell as you can see don't need you. Don't need a motherfucking thing, do they? Look how good they looking. Look how, look how, please. What does this person need? What does this Virgo need? I thought so. Now, on with it. Look at there. Coming in like the queen of pentacles. That's my Oprahology card. That's Oprah card right there. That's you looking independent, enjoying those fruits of your labor, financial, material, wealth, assets, emotional stability look you so in love with yourself so into yourself got it all got the abundance going on like i said i may need you virgo or virgo you may need this person but you show as hell i mean you may want this person but you show as hell don't need these person looking like this here i'm just trying to tell you you want somebody on your vibrational scale your your vib energetic match baby and y'all ain't playing with it so spirit source energy why is the judgment card here for virgo Oof. look here ha 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 gemini libra aquarius energy aries leo sagittarius energy y'all are look at here look at here y'all are taking action toward a new beginning again look at that with the judgment card and the sword, like y'all are declaring a new beginning. Like you have seen what you need to see. And you you know what you want in a commitment, in a loving, in a partnership, in a choice of a partner. And you stand in your damn ground. And like I said, you may want them, but you don't motherfucking need no goddamn body with that damn uh, uh, abundance you got. Look at that. You declaring. You're standing your ground. You're speaking your truth. And you're not backing down. And you saying what you mean and what you're looking for. And if this person or these people that approach you don't have what you're looking for, you're not settling. 
you will stay independent in the nine of uh, pentacles energy before you just choose something and have a heartache behind it. Okay. And have disappointment behind it. Okay. And that's why you're seeing huh, probably this five of cups right here for some reason. Maybe you did cut somebody ago. Uh, uh, Maybe you turned your back on these offers here. Ooh, I don't know. What y'all doing, Virgo? Ooh, there's that marriage proposal and commitment coming in, but it's slow. Because you ain't in no hurry. <laughs> Ace of Cups? Damn. Two aces already? Oh, y'all ain't playing. Y'all want a new beginning. And y'all taking action towards y'all own new beginning. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Don't wait on nobody. Fuck it. Fuck them. If they don't want to get with the goddamn program, move the fuck alone. It's that time. Shit, it's 2020. It's time to move the fuck on. If they can't meet you where you at on your vibrational scale, then you keep that shit moving. Don't entertain that foolishness, that childish, okay? That immaturity. Knights and pages are immature. Kings are mature, okay? Sometimes pages can be too, depending on, you know, what is going on around them. Spirit source energy, uh, clarify Knight of Cups for Virgo. Spirit source energy, clarify Knight of Cups for Virgo. Clarify Knight of Cups for Virgo. Spirit source energy. Ooh, car is trying to slip out of my hand. What are my cards doing here? Okay, we got a tower moment and a fool card. Fool card and a tower moment. You're wanting, someone's coming in towards you uh, was it July August in September October November in September wanting to communicate with you there's going to be some communication someone's going to be coming offering you uh, a cup okay a message an adventure a trip could be a, a vacation could be you go to a resort or some sort or you go on a vacation you go on some spontaneous adventure because the night of, of uh, the night of cups is adventurous. They're like spontaneous. Okay, so you might be getting a message in in around September of a trip. Okay, this person is like coming towards you, and this is you off to a new beginning, or this person is wanting to communicate with you, having a new beginning, taking that leap of faith with you towards this commitment okay and then there's a tower moment again where you have this unforeseen awakening this unforeseen uh, happening turn of events right spirit source energy what about the tower moment spirit source what about the tower moment Ooh, look at there look at there look at there Look at there. Four of Cups with an Ace of Pentacle. Woof. This Tower moment, you realize that you were ungrateful for the opportunity that the universe was handing you. You were not seeing the bigger picture here. You were focusing on those three little cups that you had cried over, spilled milk, spilled relationships build job endeavors or whatever the case may be promotions looked over whatever those three of cups meant to you you now realize that the universe was trying to hand you a single cup for a new beginning in love look at the cup that just came out so you got one one here you got an ace of sword and you have an ace of cups here for a new beginning the universe is trying to give you a new beginning in love in abundance in overflow like you're falling into your, your new uh, beginning here with an Ace of Cups here. Taking a new action, okay? Not contemplating too long because if you contemplate too long, you're going to have a missed opportunity here. Something's being offered to you. This night is coming in offering you something, a new beginning in love. Now, whether you take it or not is going to be you. Spirit source energy. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Spirit source energy. Look at there. Third party. Wow. So, whoa. 
third party situation here with the Knight of Swords coming in, taking action, wanting to communicate. Woo. Wow. Passionate, intelligent, sharing ideas and creativity. But you realize something was not, there was a third party situation here. Wow. Some, something was uneven. And this is about getting reciprocity. Like you were put in a third party situation, Virgo, with this uh, Knight of Swords energy. And it shook, it, it shook you up with the Five of Cups energy here. It devastated you. Those are the three cups. And I said that earlier. Where are them three cups at? Right here. One, two, three. Three of Cups. It came out again, didn't it? No, oh, that's four of cups. So see, your three of cups, you're crying over. A missed opportunity, unable to celebrate. There's no reunion, right? You turned your back on this person that put you in that third party situation. And it shook you up, right? And you're wanting the scales to be balanced. This is September, October energy. So you find out. You got some communication coming in towards you where you find out about a third party situation. Okay. You get you get message, you get wind. This is your Gemini Aries, I mean Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. You get wind that things were not where they were supposed to be. That this person was manipulating you, playing mind games, or this person was uh not being uh clear okay not telling you the truth and you get wind of it around october about a third party situation could be distance could be someone else involved another person because i'm telling you i see two people right here when i saw these two knights and these two knights can be virgo women or virgo men it does not even matter but it's two knights here, okay? One's full of love and emotion, and one is, one is uh, taking action. They're both coming towards you to offer you. This one is trying to weigh out what they did wrong, how to come back and apologize and give you this justice that you deserve for putting you in this third party situation here whether you knew about it or not i don't think you knew about it because there's a tower moment right next to that card so you didn't know about this you were the darkness was lit up and it was revealed to you that this was a this was a third party situation and somebody was giving more to the other person than they were giving to you and you turned your back and it hurted you to turn your back you know on that uh, third party situation or being put in that third party situation okay but that you're forgetting about you have two cups behind you there's still a chance at love in other words you're crying over spilled milk when you still have plenty of love out there to give and receive love from plenty of people plenty of things right look at ooh, nice. ooh, 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 ooh. Clarify the uh, third party spirit source energy for Virgos. Clarify the third party for Virgo spirit source energy. Clarify the third party for Virgo. There's that Knight of Cups again. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Lord. What's upside down? Where the hell that come from? I need to check my cards. Eight of Cups in reverse. Wow. Building a legacy. And the Knight of Cups again coming towards you with those emotions. Getting that fun, getting that balance after walking away. You walk away from things that no longer serve you. Okay? You let it go. You let it go. And now you're off building, you know, this Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. Because, see, the Knight of Cuff, Cups offer you that Ace of Pentacles, that new love and that new beginning. And here it comes. Wow, the Knight of Cups is still coming towards you in, what is this, August, September, October. So September and October, you still have the Knight of Cups here in both spots. 
Wow. I want to clarify this Six of Pentacles. Spirit Source, there's a star card. Spirit Source Energy, why is the Six of Pentacles here for Virgo? Why is the Six of Pentacles? That's Taurus Energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo Energy. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Page of Swords. Whew, Lord, that's a lot. Oh, Lord, that's a lot. You're having to make quick decisions, like uh, really fast, really swift. Uh, a lot of communication coming in. You're wanting that deeper level, that new partnership. Look at there. Woo, there the Ace of Wands. Wow, three wands. 11, 111. If y'all been seeing that, that's divine secrecy. Look at there, having to make a decision. There's those wands again, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. There's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of gossip behind this third party relationship. Look at there. You're going to be given the strength to move forward. You're going to get your Knight of Pentacles, your proposal and commitment, and you're still going to win. You're still fighting for what you want, which is that happy family and commitment. Okay? Wow. Whoa. Woe to the woe woe. Okay? Leo coming in, saving the day, right? <laughs> After you're having to make that decision to walk away, right? Or to cut loose, turn something loose, let go of this situation, this third party situation that you were put in. Okay? This physical attraction or whatever it is. You're making a decision to a wands. You're looking out over what you uh over your path what path to take a little guarded still but you're observing you're you're observing the future with with optimism you're looking at all the creativity and all the passion okay that you have for the future this for this fresh new romantic start it has excited you in other words your passion has been ignited to look through the to the future with hope okay that there is new love out there. Bam, there it is right there. Stay truth, stay truthful to yourself. Don't rush into anything. Don't rush into sleeping with someone. Take your time. Take your time. Mm. You're given you're being given the strength. You're you got control over your ego. Again, your Knight of Pentacles, your marriage offer. And sir, uh, this is the slowest moving night. This one comes in with something valuable to offer, something tangible to offer, like this Ten of Pentacles. You went from a Nine to a Ten of Pentacles to being happily ever after here. Look at there. Defeating, getting a victory, fighting for what you want because you didn't give in to the gossip. You didn't get it. You didn't give in to the backstabbing, to the seven of swords energy. And look at there. Got your rainbow. Got your ten of cups. Got your wish fulfillment for a happy home, for balancing your home life. Ten means the ending of something. That's the end of a cycle of hardship, of loneliness, right? Of lying, of gossip, of third party connections. You're walking away from that. You've learned your you've learned your lesson, okay? You're emotional, stable now. You're grounded. You love yourself. You hold yourself to high value and high standards. Ooh, wee. Damn, Virgo. Spirit Source Energy, clarify the Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Look at that. Woo. Woo. Devil card. Toxic. This was a toxic uh, relationship that you had to let go of. That's what, you know, you, you're, you were battling, uh, you were living in fear, um, causing unnecessary fear, you know, having attachments, maybe an obsession that you had to release, you know, having a, to go through this, uh, this journey, you know, this is like the, the lovers and the soulmate being tied, a destiny being tied. So this was a karmic lesson uh, for you, soulmates, 
like you're thinking you're no longer attached to this connection like it's like you you were attached to a soulmate connection but you learned from this connection you know there's more to life okay there's more to life than tying yourself down you know uh obsessing over a, a soulmate so you're no longer obsessing over a soulmate connection you're no longer attached to this connection of soulmate you want you want whatever the universe gives to you whatever comes your way you're looking you're looking for happiness to find that wherever whatever comes your way but you're not settling and you're not just choosing anything but you're taking your time you're taking your time this is look the page has slowed down this is you dying down with the passion right taking things gracefully not moving fast look at there look at this the same two damn cards wow wow because you found out the truth you found out the truth here wow with the seven of swords in reverse you found out the truth wow and that's what's so heartbreaking about it you found out the truth about something Aries, was this aquarius libra gemini energy aries uh leo sagittarius energy on the page of wands you're not being deceived anymore mm, mm, mm. now look at here there's the same card spirit source energy clarify seven of swords look at that the empress jumping up here Woof! crossing that path was the empress look at that that shit jumped right up there on that uh overlying energy damn empress you are seen as the empress you can get whatever you want you have the power to manifest whatever you want you have the foresight and the vision to manifest whatever you want you're very clear now about your options you're very clear about this not this king of, of wands energy here that you have been looking at that you have been observing that you may even have considered an option a choice right the empress with a king of wands someone very passionate someone very loving someone very uh uh, uh know how to overcome obstacles take uh leadership that's very determined you know has that leadership that protective you know uh able to uh get through challenges has that same creativity that same uh intuition you know ability to use their intuitive Oof! wow what the you found out the truth Ooh, my car about to catch on fire over yonder uh you found out the truth about this king of wands wow whoa and that's what made you sever the idea of being attached to a soulmate connection you now sitting in your power in your full power you know december uh, i mean this is november November for Virgo. Wow. The King of Wands with choices. And the Empress with finding out the truth. Woo! It's going to lead to somebody crying over some spilled milk. <laughs> is what's going to happen. Right? Seven of Swords energy. Well, really, what was that at? That was over here. Because that one was right there. So it's going to leave somebody. Oh, that's December. So somebody thought they were keeping the empress or tricking the empress by not telling the empress something, right? Mother Earth, this is about opportunities. This is about uh, fulfillment. This is about abundance, right? So someone was being deceptive and sneaky and tricky, uh, okay, towards the empress, Creating these illusions, feeding them false promises and false hopes. Possibly the Knight of Wands, I mean the King of Wands energy. 
Maybe this person made you think that they had options. That they had options on the table. Maybe that's a lie. Maybe they see that you have plenty of options and that's what's worrying them. That's what's got them trying to find out who, who are those options. Who, someone's sneaking by. Look, at there's a the, there's the fox. Someone's checking up on who you are, who you're talking to. This, night, this king of wands is trying to come in towards you, but they're also trying to find out who you're messing with, who you're talking to. They, they think that maybe you're being deceptive or you think that they're being deceptive. Or you're being deceptive uh, towards them, Virgo. Trying to find out who the competition is. Who, who, who's these options? Who are these choices that you're considering? Because right now, you're single. You're single. You're abundant. Like, you, can, you, you can't get any fucking better than this. You looking like filet mignon. You the, queen, you the queen bee of all queens in the deck, baby, right now. The empress. The divine feminine. The mastery. The self-mastery of divine feminine. Let's clarify that. The self-mastery of the divine feminine. Okay, the embodiment of all four queens. Okay, if you want to you know queenology, this is the queenology right here. Sitting in your empress, sitting your ass on your throne and looking motherfucking good doing it. <laughs> being single, being whole and looking motherfucking good doing it. And this could be for a Virgo man operating in feminine energy, not saying you're gay, but saying that you got a balance of your feminine energy, which makes you attractive as a Virgo man because you got balance of your feminine energy. And so you got choices and options. You don't have to settle like with the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. You're like the, the cream de la cream. I keep telling y'all this, the cream de la cream card, baby. I'm trying to tell you. So you're looking and you're searching for and you're going through the future with optimist, with this uh, optimistic, with this fool's energy, taking a leap of faith toward new love. You got the new action, clarity now, right? And then you got passion. So you're coming in balanced with all three wands. Three, one, one, one is what I, wands, not the wands, but the ones, okay? Taking a new action, get, you know, moving in a new direction. Uh, new cup of love and abundance and a, a passion new romantic relationship because you got rid of the toxicity of the old relationship the old way of thinking your fears you conquered your fears right now you let go you let go of the idea of the soulmate connection so that you can move forward in love Okay, and have that happy home and balance. Look at there, you're manifesting. I told y'all, you're manifesting. Y'all are manifesting. This is like the the uh, the pair, the strength card, Leo and the magician are pairs. You are being, you're able to manifest right now. That's how powerful this moment is for Leo. And this is uh, the magician card is the Gemini, but you can see the infinity sign over both of them's head. So this is the pair. You're to balance out your ego, keep control of your ego, your willpower, your self-control, and keep things in balance and harmony between what you're creating, what you're manifesting, what you're, what you're doing with these spiritual tools. There's to be balanced. You're commanding the universe right now, holding up this uh, gadget, whatever that is, a stick. But you're, you've got all the elements now. You've collected the cup, the pinnacle, the sword, and the wand. And now you're commanding the universe. Your eight law of attraction. This is Leo. We're in Leo season. Today or tomorrow. So be careful what you manifest. And just leaving that, what, new moon yesterday? or full, New moon yesterday? Now is the time for you to plant. And to, to plant what you want to manifest be practical all across the board money person personal like what kind of person you want what kind of job you want what kind of career you want business you want what type of uh, financial goals you want right what kind of uh psychological emotional 
balance that you want to manifest for your life? How you want this, this to play out toward the end of the year? And if you want to take it to next year, you can. But it's saying your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So if you're trying to manifest financial stability, this nine of pentacles, this queen of pentacles, this empress energy, or this marriage proposal for ten of uh, cups, then you have to be practical. You have to tell the universe what you want. You're commanding it from the universe because this is the law of attraction. So if you want a ten of pentacles, a legacy, then you better speak it. Okay, you better use your spiritual tools Learn your lesson, keep your balance, keep your focus, keep your uh, ego in check. See, she's controlling the ego, which is the lion, and I call her the echo. Echo and the ego, right? The masculine and the feminine energy, guiding the lion, taming the, the lion, taming the ego. That's why this magician, you know, has learned their lesson, because here it is, you're given the strength to what? Tame your own ego. Have control over your own ego. This is powerful. Woo! Look at there. World. What? Summoning, commanding the universe. You're, you're completing a cycle here and starting a new cycle with the world card, being on top of the world being the magician of your own destiny, your own world, creating the world that you want to live in. Ooh, we good gracious alive. Good gracious alive. Wow. Powerful. Powerful. All right. Let's see what here. No, oh, let me get these other ones. I don't even know what my time is like. Your source energy. Cards popping out. Ten of wands. And the magician card again popping out. I was going to say, what are the challenges? <laughs> you know, that's usually the first question I'm asking. And the ten of wands popping out. And the magician card popping out. And we just saw the magician card. Wow. Manifesting the end of a cycle is the challenge here. Ten always coming to an end of a cycle, meaning you're about to end the cycle. You need to end the cycle. You're coming out of that energy, right? So here you are as the uh, magician card, Virgo, manifesting, coming out of a burdensome cycle, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, where you're carrying the fucking load, where a lot of stress is put on your back, right? And you're coming out of that energy and keeping that ego in check keeping that ego harmonious okay Woo. damn spirit source energy what is the challenge here for virgo spirit source energy knight of swords knight of swords look at it. it's out here twice ha mm 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 mm, -mm. Your challenge is not getting caught up in another third party situation here because it was because of the Knight of Swords. You were you were uh, caught up in this. Uh, I mean, that's the King of Swords. I'm sorry. Oh, so this is a, a pair. The Queen and the King. So this is your challenge here. The King of standing, sitting in your power, controlling your. Uh, uh, your actions having the willpower, having the confidence, speaking your truth. This is about discipline, right? You're clear about what you want as the king of swords. That's what your challenge is, to stay focused, to stay clear about what you want, stay confident, stay strong, speak your truth. This is you uh, uh, tuning to wisdom, listening to wisdom. You know who you are. You're rational, you're logical. You're the king of swords, and that's your, look at there, and there's your, there's your divine mate. Spirit source energy. What other challenges do Virgo have here? Look at there, the star card. Ha, 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 ha. Look at that, the queen of wands. The queen of wands. Damn, another pair? Like, y'all are hot. Y'all are like, 
Y'all know y'all came here to be something great. You and your person has so much passion. You got so much truth to speak and give the world. And that's what's creating this balance, this, this new love right here that's going to come in, this new commitment. This is someone that's on your vibrational level here. Okay, because you've let go of a toxicity or some type of attachment or addic addiction or obsession with this devil energy, some obsessive behavior or, or, or uh, uh, attraction that was unhealthy or some type of way of thinking that was unhealthy or some type of emotion that was unhealthy, like being delusional, <laughs> possibly with the seven of cups, right? With this empress and this king of wands energy, right? Because you've let go of that attachment, right? Look at, look at what happens star card you're seen as the wish fulfillment again the nine of cups where are my nine of cups at under all energy both are wish fulfillments both are meant to be okay what's meant to be is meant to be if it's meant to be it's meant to be and you accepted that fact when you cut those attachments off that were no longer serving you that had you emotionally drained they had you emotionally drained because you were holding on to an illusion. Okay? And now you got your wish fulfillment. You got someone that's about truth and clarity as you are, about communication, that is about organization, self-control, and y'all have a lot of passion and love for each other. And together, y'all have this wish fulfillment. This is the type of relationship or the person or commitment that you've always wished for. Okay? Always longed for. So that's your challenge. King of Swords, Star Card, and the Queen of Wands. That's your challenge, Virgo. What is the outcome, Spirit Source Energy, for Virgo? Staying out of self-restriction thoughts, self-sabotaging thoughts. Staying out of those thoughts, that energy, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Knight of Cups. See that message coming in. Again, a repeat card, Knight of Cups. Someone coming in, giving you a message. Emotional, uh, fulfilling message. It, be, it, it may be emotionally charged, like it may be, you know, very emotional to express, you know, how you were stuck in your head about some things, how you held yourself up, okay? Eight of Wands, fast-moving energy here. Fast-moving fast communication coming in that's going to be emotionally charged, and you're going to have to... You're going to have to maintain a level of balance here with this, with this conversation because it's going to, you don't want to go into, again, the Eight of Swords energy tying up your thoughts. You freed yourself from that. So this relationship is going to be emotionally charged. It's going to be overwhelming. It's going to be a lot of passion, maybe even crying. But you're going to have to maintain the balance of the ego. Don't get the big head. Don't jump the gun. Stay uh, in control, okay? Stay in control. Stay compassionate. You know, stay loving. Stay nurturing, okay? And then the nine of, the nine of wands is, it's the ending of a hard cycle. It's the ending of self-sabotagement. It's the ending of... Uh, not being able to say what you need to say. You're going to have a lot of communication going back and forth where you're going to be able to communicate with this person and say what you need to say, which is going to free you. Okay, nine of wands, ending ending this, this, this tug of war or ending this cycle of wounded warrior of going through so much, you know, battling so much on your own. Leaving the past behind. This is about leaving the past behind. 
talks about leaving the past behind so you can move forward. Ooh, good Lord. Who is that? Damn, Virgo. What is y'all doing out there? Spirit source energy. Ooh. What is the advice, the best advice for Virgo moving toward the future? What is the best advice for Virgos? Spirit source energy. What is the best advice for Virgos? These cards are slippery. What is the advice for Virgos that you would like to give Virgos on the future? What is the best advice? Spirit source energy. Six of Pentacles and Princess of Wands. Balancing out, you want a balance commitment, a balance relationship here. Remembering the childhood nature, the playfulness of this connection and staying on top of it, staying balanced, staying true to the commitment, right? To the passion uh, that started the whole thing, right? The divine timing of the whole thing. Lover's card and the star card being this commitment was destined to be, was destined to be, okay? Was meant to be, will be. That's the star, that's the wish fulfillment, right? That's the lover and the star. So. This is about balancing out now. Balancing each other's energy. Keeping each other grounded. Okay? Keeping uh, uh, the scale even. Not tipping the scale. Not someone giving and someone taking. Okay? Not someone uh, having another choice. A third party situation. Not giving to you, but giving to the other person. So what you're thinking, what your lesson here is in this toxic relationship is not to go backwards. Move forward. Forgive the past. Okay? And start fresh. Start with a new action. Make it clear. Look at there. Make it clear what you expect going forward if there's going to be a reconciliation. If this person returns wanting to give you reciprocity or balance, you being very clear in your communication, in your emotions, and how you feel, the passion. One, one, one. Okay? And don't hold nothing back. Let it rip, baby. Let it motherfucking rip. Look at that. Let it rip. Speak what is on your damn mind. You know, because if you don't speak what's on your mind, you're going back into this nine of eight of pinnacle energy of self-sabotage because you weren't speaking your mind. You wasn't getting any clarity in this old connection. It was very toxic. It was very... Uh, suffocating. It was very deceptive. Okay? It was very uh, uh, where's my cup set? It was very confusing. Where's my cup set? What did I just do with them cups? There it is. It was, there was an illusion. Right? So there was no there was no clarity in what was being offered. Like this person was had one foot in the door with you and another foot in the door with somebody else. So now moving forward, if you decide to give this person another chance, or even in new relationships, as it's saying right here, you wanting to be off to this new beginning, now you know what your lesson is here speak up tell what you expect let them know what you want because guess what you're the motherfucking empress you the motherfucking boss ass empress stand on your truth right either 
either they meet you where you're at you stand on you stand your ground either this person meets you with reciprocity okay the level that you're at nine of pentacles building a legacy right building an inheritance where's my other queen of pentacles at i'm messing up my cards now Whew. it ain't gonna be no more uneven scales right there's gonna be justice and fairness uh Where's the other card at? You're going to be given the strength to stand your ground. Where's my cards I'm looking for? Where's that pinnacle? You're, look at there. You're after that happy family, balanced home, balanced relationship. Uh, where is that card? I done shifted it somewhere, y'all. I was looking for the queen of pinnacles. There's the nine. You've learned. You've learned. You're not you're not after these fly in, fly out, halfway, one foot in the door relationships. You're after something solid and something long term and a commitment. A lasting commitment. Right? Some because you're looking to build something. You're not looking to play the field. You're not looking to, you know, to just be out there. But you don't mind being single. You, you're fine, like I said. You might want the damn person, but you don't motherfucking need the person. That's just, just the part of it, right? I'm trying to look for that Queen of Pentacles, y'all. Where did that damn Queen of Pentacles go? Am I overlooking it? Where is the Queen of Pentacles? It's hiding all up under here. I, am I just seeing? Oh, maybe it was up under the deck, huh? Maybe that's what it was. I got so many cards out of here. Now I got to work to fix my cards. All right, Virgos, y'all get the picture. Y'all are standing in your power. Y'all are creating right now. The reality, you're, you're choosing this world that you're choosing to live in. And you got to stand firm on what you, you know your worth, your value, right? You, you, you're going to stand firm now because you know you want a long-term commitment. You're after something solid and stable. That's why you have the lover's card, the happy family, getting that wish fulfillment, right? Speaking your truth up front, saying what you want from the very beginning of this love relationship. Standing in your power. And you're going to be given strength because you're not going to go back you're not going to go back into that that nine of swords energy, the eight of swords energy, self sabotagement, tied up with your thoughts, confused, suffering, and silence. You ain't fucking doing it no more. So whoever steps up to you, gotta meet you where you're at, and you're standing firm with this new beginning. That's the new that's the new beginning you're creating, Virgo, for yourself. What's under here? That's the new beginning that you're manifesting. A new beginning, new action, clarity, new love, hot romance, new, new love, new beginning, hot romance, passionate, you know, romance, somebody that can fulfill you energetically, physically, sexually, right? I mean, you're going to be, you're going to be very blunt. <laughs> you're going to be very blunt. You like, you better know how to lay it down. Damn it. And if you're a Virgo man, you like, she better have some passion in this bed. She better have that passion better match my passion. That love better meet me with that same love that I'm pouring out. They better be able to pour that love back. They better not have no type of incapacity. And then the song with Keisha Cole's come to my mind. You're incapable, right? Ain't no more incapable motherfuckers up in him. If you're incapable, you're going to be at the dope on the other side and the bitch going to be dead bolted, right? So you ain't coming up in here with no half love, no half cup of love. You're expecting a whole motherfucking cup of love, goddammit, right? A whole motherfucking wand, not no inability to use the motherfucker, right? Not no in inability to get passionate, any inability to uh, arouse, right 
because there's so many sexual problems people have and they, they boast it with other things and they shade it with other things. We all know that. They overcompensate. We know that. We've dealt with those type of people some people have. Maybe not all you Virgos and maybe not everybody, but everybody knows somebody with sexual hangups and problems. Okay? If you look at what, what their interest in, a lot of times you can tell. It, it's not rocket science. Okay? But you're taking action. And you're, uh, you're clear now about what you want. And you're not selling for less. So if that person does not meet you vibrationally where you're at, you're not entertaining it. The person ain't even an option. And we had the, uh, we had the seven of cups out here. What did I do with them? This person ain't even going to be an option. Not, not if they're not meeting you where you're at. Because you left that energy. You, you, you ended that cycle, that toxic cycle. Ain't going to be no contemplating, no confusion. Because you just going to cut that damn person off with that damn sword. If they not offering you vibrationally anything, you're cutting them off. And you're standing your ground on it. You're very adamant of it. Because you know now you are the motherfucking priestess. You're the motherfucking priestess, Virgo man, Virgo woman. This is the energy. That means you're sitting in your Mother Earth, Venus energy. And you know you're the shit. So you're not taking no fucking less. You know what you bring to the table. And it's come all or come, for the, uh, come motherfucking nothing and take your motherfucking ass home. Matter of fact, don't knock on the door. Don't stand in the doorway. Don't block the goddamn doorway from somebody else. Get out the motherfucking door. Lose my number. Block, delete get the fuck out the way that's how y'all seeing this shit virgo y'all done stepped into y'all motherfucking power baby you done stepped up in it full force ready to cut whoever you need to cut off because you're staying on point and you're on guard with that uh wish fulfillment you know where you're headed and you beheading any motherfucker that come against your wish fulfillment beheading the queen off with your head bye cutting off left and right walking away left and right standing your ground Ooh, baby fierce brutally honest but you're compassionate you're loving you're intelligent You're going to maintain a level of balance due to the strength card being out here. You're not going to be so brutal and cutthroat, but you're going to be understanding and just state what you want, what you're looking for in a commitment, in a partnership, right? In a soulmate, in a divine flame. Ooh, y'all is not playing. Damn, Virgos. Y'all tired of the y'all tired of the games out there. Y'all fucking tired of the damn games, baby. Look at there. Moving on. Manifesting a move. <laughs> y'all are manifesting a move. Look, there the world card. You're gonna be traveling, maybe. I don't know. Some of y'all might be traveling. You waited a long time to be in this position to end this cycle. So that you're fine. Ooh, Lord, I knew that was under there. I felt the justice card wasn't far because I could tell the way the, the narrative was going. Y'all are going to get y'all justice. Y'all reciprocity. Either way it go. Either way it go. Y'all are going to win. Y'all are going to win. This is justice being. Oh, look at the king of. Pen oh, Lord, that your new love right there. There's no wonder. Y'all fence to embark upon a king of pinnacle. Somebody that has material assets and finances and stability have money sense know how to invest know how to keep more than they fucking spin and splurge shit i'm done with y'all <laughs> i'm done i am so done with y'all virgo that was a good reading i enjoyed that
I hope y'all, it gave y'all uh, a little bit uh encouragement uh, to stand in your power, stand in your truth, and, and know what you want, set your goals, have a practical plan in, in what you're looking for in a mate, what you're looking for in a in a job, if it's a job you're seeking, if it's finances you're, you're wanting to increase, whatever your goals are, your relationships, your associate goals, like what kind of people you want surrounded by you. Hell, have them fucking acquaintances goals and shit. I don't care how many categories you name, however many that float your damn boat. Psychologically, emotional categories and goals. Like what type of people you want to surround yourself with? What type of loving friendships, acquaintances, or uh, uh, friends or business associates do you want to surround yourself with? Okay? That's what it's about. They, you need a plan. You need to be practical. You need to know where you're trying to go, where you're trying to grow at, where you're trying to evolve at. And write that motherfucking plan down and stick the fuck with it. And don't fucking budge for no damn body. If they are not on your energetic vibrational level, it's a buy. It's not even a high. It's a damn buy immediately out your mouth. Child, buy. In other words, that person need to go ahead and grow the fuck up and get out your goddamn face. Because they finna waste your fucking time. All or fucking nothing. Truth or fucking nothing. Clarity or fucking nothing. Transparency or fucking nothing. Ain't no more confusion up in this bitch. None. Y'all know exactly. Y'all came out as the queen of swords. The queen of swords is so fucking intelligent. Will cut your motherfucking neck off with some bullshit. Words sharper than the fucking two-edged sword that the queen is holding. Open to communication. But, and the but is, the vibration better be right. Open to it, but the vibration best to come correct. Because if the communication and the vibration is off, the queen has no problem. The queen has no problem. Where's my queen at? I don't know where she went. Oh, I just shuffled the card. There she go. The queen has no problem off with your head. Cutting you off, in other words. Dropping the communication. Blocking the damn communication. Because the queen is too motherfucking intelligent to play. Too serious, right? Too organized. Ooh, wait. It's something about that water. <laughs> They're the justice card again, boy. <laughs> They're the justice card again. Right there, again. Justice will be served. That's how the queen see it. Justice will be served. Reciprocity will be served. Okay? Else cut off time. Edward Scissorhands, bye. Free yourself. Free yourself before the queen free you. You know? Free yourself before the queen free you. Because the queen ain't going to spare the feelings. The queen can cut through emotions and feelings. Communication. So the queen sometimes is not going to be uh, uh, very passionate if the intelligence is insulted. If the queen of, of uh, swords intelligence is underestimated or insulted, shh, oh, it's over. Over. Deception, lies, dishonesty, trickery, cheating, betrayal, uh, backstabbing, gossiping, psh. Queen of Swords is about no drama. And that's where Virgo energy is at. Y'all are not about the drama. 
y'all are like cutting people off that's bringing drama and chaos and confusion to y'all energy to your to your uh mind or to your heart anybody that's causing con confusion y'all are getting rid of them y'all are like distancing yourself from these people places and things that don't provide you clarity simple as that you're taking action you're staying focused on what your dreams and what you're doing and what you're manifesting y'all are busy at work too look at that virgo capricorn taurus energy right there working hard working your ass off working your ass off focus on building yourself up you ain't got time to play with people people want to want to play with people they need to go to a goddamn daycare and play with them damn chaps that's where they need to go you don't get in grown folks business and talk about come playing there that other uh justice car right there it's time y'all need to go to the daycare and play with them little chaps you want to play adults ain't supposed to be playing games not supposed to be playing mind games you know playing with people's heart and playing with people's mind trying to play magician and shit that's how your ass gonna be left without no goddamn body in the world that's how justice gonna be fucking served for a lot of people playing mind games they gonna find they self ain't gonna have no damn body in the end when it really motherfucking count that's what's gonna happen look at there because guess what Look at, look at them two cards right there. Wheel of Fortune. Mm, and the Justice card. Y'all about to get y'all reciprocity, y'all right, Virgos. Y'all about to get it. It's coming. It's right here. It's already here. Ooh, we Y'all closed out a bad cycle. Like, this cycle was burdensome. Y'all had the Ten of Wands. It was a stressful motherfucking cycle. A eight of, a eight of uh, Swords energy being all trapped up in your head, unclear about some things, unclear about your destiny and where your destiny was going. And, and it was all part of the divine timing because the universe was working behind the scenes that y'all Virgos didn't have a true uh, sense of where all this was going. So by the time you probably get to the end of this, <laughs> this uh, uh, reading, you will have a clear understanding of what your karmic lesson was about here, okay? Because it was pretty cut and dry. It was, it was really down to the month just so you'll know each month what to expect for the, to the end of this year so that you can get on track and make those practical plans right now and stick the fuck to it and don't let anybody get you off of whatever those dreams that you have for yourself that you see for yourself virgos don't let anybody distract you from those goals those plans okay if they're not coming in to support them don't have shit to do with they fucking ass point blank like how much you want to contribute here you see me hard at fucking work with the eight of motherfucking pinnacles where the eight of pinnacles go i don't even know where it went you saw you saw right they saw you hard at work they see you hard at work here with the eight of pinnacles they see you working hard towards your goals so unless they're coming to offer <laughs> some reciprocity of some sort, some financial investment, because you're talking about Taurus energy, so you're talking about the money house, right? So unless they're coming to talk investing, you don't have time to get off of your goals because you're trying to close out a cycle of 10 of wands energy, of feeling burden, of, of, of feeling... Uh, uh, unfulfilled in some type of way or you've just closed out that cycle or some of y'all are about to close out that cycle some of y'all are already going through that cycle and you had to regroup 
You had to gain some self-control, right? You had to organize. You had to get a plan. And you got to stick to that plan. You got to stand your ground and stick to that plan. And like I said, if nobody ain't trying to invest in what you're creating and what you're working toward, what you're building for yourself, you ain't got time for bullshit. You ain't got time for people to just be taking up your damn time. Like how much shares you want to motherfucking buy in my company? You want to buy some shares? You talking about investing here? Okay, what are we talking about here? Because I am the relationship right now. Ooh, don't let, oh Lord, y'all taking me somewhere else. Virgo, Virgo, y'all like I'm the fucking relationship right now. Where my, where my lover's card at? Ooh, Lord. Universe talking to y'all. Y'all got some lessons. Some of y'all got some lessons y'all about to learn. The universe, you're like, I'm the, le I'm the, I'm the relationship. I don't need you to talk to me about relationship. I'm the relationship. I'm the relationship here. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me remind you, Virgo, who, who you at, where, who you are. Let me remind you right quick. And we're going to close this out because this shit good. <laughs> Ooh, we the spirit got some shit for y'all, boy. Oh, Lord. I didn't see this shit coming. Where my empress at? See, y'all just left that ten of wand energy. That's why y'all ass ain't having that shit. Y'all just left that energy. Y'all said, oh, no, you don't. No way, Jose. My cards are sticking. <sighs> Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Look at here. 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 Yep, look at here. <laughs> Look him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at y'all. Look at the relationship. Look at the look at the goddamn relationship you have built with yourself. So if somebody, whoever come in Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, King of Wands, whoever these jokers is, right? Or these women coming towards you, Virgo men, if they're not putting any investment in what you're working toward which was the happiness right the ten of cups the happy family right this ten of cups was out y'all working on your balance y'all came out of the ten of wands energy so if that person is not contributing in a positive way moving you toward your plans and your goals here she comes this comes out and just cuts them off, stop some cold turkey, dead in their tracks, right? Because you've already learned. You got to have a new action. You got a new love and you got a new romance coming. So you don't need no incompetent person. You don't need somebody that can't do a motherfucking thing for you because guess what? You are the relationship. Where's the empress? I just had her. Where'd she go that quick? There she go. You are the love relationship. Look what that. Look what you just did. Took back your power. You are in your relationship with yourself. With your divine masculine and feminine self here. So you don't need somebody to come stir nothing up. That they cannot meet and fulfill. So you're standing in your own power. And it's like I kept saying in the beginning. You may want this person, but you don't motherfucking need this person. That's a big motherfucking difference. And when you got this shit right here, the Empress, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles, and the Lover's Card, what you need is who gonna invest? Who wants to buy some motherfucking shares? Because I got shares up for fucking sale right now. Talk. Talk dollars. Talk investments. If you ain't, if that person is not talking investments, you have no business talking to this person. Period. Because you already in a love relationship. 
you already have set the tone. You're not taking less. You're not selling. That's your bar. That's your standard. That's your requirement. And until they can meet this vibration, level the fuck up. Only thing they can talk to you about is you want to buy some shares now. <laughs> you want to buy a piece of my company. Stop letting people waste your time. Time is valuable. You just you just stated that. Your self-worth, your self-importance, your independence, your your uh financial freedom. Your happy home. Right? Your 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 ten of cups. Your stability within yourself. And you not in no damn hurry. So you going to stand your ground and not let nobody take you, you fast trying to uh, seduce you, right? You going to stand your ground. That's what y'all doing, Virgo. Ooh, y'all ain't playing. Ooh, 2020. Ooh, ooh. 2020 done woke y'all ass up. 2020 done woke your ass up. Y'all said, uh-uh. Ain't no more playing over him. We down to the nitty gritty, baby. That's why it says, lady, enjoy growth and reap rewards. Y'all are reaping y'all independence. Look at that. That's a single woman. Just like the empress, just like the, uh, the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Enjoying the, the abundance of your own labor by yourself. Enjoying this process. Enjoying this journey. This abundance that you created for yourself. Treating yourself well. Giving to yourself. Ooh, no, I don't think nobody wanted to hear that. They might be mad at me for telling y'all that. Virgo. And look, you're going to be given the strength because those were your two cards. You're going to be given the strength to stand your ground. To end that cycle and to come out of it. And to stand your ground. And be off to this new beginning. And then when you get off to this new beginning... You weren't going to be single for long because this is a uh, this is a marriage proposal or a commitment or an offer coming in. OK. So that's why the energy and the spirit, the source is telling you Virgos to take your time. OK. Whoever these Knight of Cups is, Wands and whoever these people coming back to communicate with y'all, take your time. Don't just jump into anything. Take your time because you, you, you have the power. You're in your power. You're in your feminine energy power. Look at that. Full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Write your goals. Write your goals. I'm hearing write your damn goals, Virgo. So you can stick to them and you know what you're working toward. And you know what you're looking forward to. And that way you can enjoy that the, the abundance of your rewards and you can see the process so it it the writing of the goals down or the plans down help you be able to see the process of how actually far you've gotten that you may not be seeing or that you might be overlooking like how far you've actually come by yourself it's not saying you have to stay single no Virgo man or Virgo woman is saying, look at where you where you've come from and don't lower yourself. Don't lower your standards. Don't just settle because a nine of pinnacle queen of uh, pinnacle and a empress does not settle for less because they know what they have to offer. They know what they bring to the table in any relationship. You've mastered. You've mastered the the uh, the hierarchy here. You've you're you're creative. You're in your creative power. You can you can take water and make a goddamn kryptonite wand with it. If that's the case, you're able to create anything. You can take this amethyst and you can create a car. I mean that's your. I mean the impossible. You're creating the impossible things here. That's how much power you got, Virgo. Earth energy. The resources of Mother Earth at your disposal right now. The magician card. 
like every fucking pos every fucking possible opportunity right now. And you get to pick and choose which one you're going to entertain, which one you're going to work with, which one you're going to use, who's on A team, who's on B team, who you're going to work with, who you ain't going to work with. The ball's in your court. New opportunities and new uh, beginnings, new ideas, pregnancy of new ideas and birth and resources is in your, the ball's in your court. Oh, that's beautiful, Virgo. I'm happy for y'all. Woo. And some of y'all ain't going to be single for long. <laughs> some of y'all asses ain't even going to be single for long. Because somebody coming to bring you some money, some investment, something tangible. Some offer you can't even refuse. Like, they've been watching you and spying on you. You had the seven of uh, swords energy. They trying to find out what you like. What, what, what are you moved by? Who are you talking to? Who are your options? Who are they going to have to go fight to get to you? Because they come in with some serious, some serious offer. Something that they don't want you to refuse. Ooh, Virgos. Congratulations. And make sure y'all invite me to y'all wedding. <laughs> make sure you invite your girl. I want my damn card, my tarot deck in the goddamn corner. In the reception hall, okay? So I can read these cards for your guests and get me some clients. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. Take what resonate, y'all. Whatever you don't need, leave it right there on the eye of raw, okay? It's for whoever want to listen, of course, but Virgo, Rising Sun, Moon, Venus, go to my YouTube channel, like, and subscribe because y'all don't want to miss anything coming out this mouth because <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> you just never know, okay? What thus says the spirit, Okay, what thus says inner energy, right? Uh, and you want what's for you. You don't want to miss it. You want to grow and evolve. So go uh, like and subscribe to content. Share, 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 share. Bring your family. Bring Shanae, Bring Boom Kui Kui. Bring uh, uh, Ray J. You can bring uh, 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 Billy Ray Cyrus. Uh, uh, whoever y'all want to bring. Okay, uh, tag whoever. Okay, Cardi B, all of them. Okay, <laughs> y'all can pray and share whoever y'all want to share with Will and Jada if you want to. Okay, I mean, y'all, but who y'all want? I don't care who y'all can, folks. Bring them on, let them get some of this knowledge and this wisdom and this guidance. Okay, and you know what your girls say peace, love, and harmony. Because if you got peace, love, and harmony in yourself, you'll have peace, love, and harmony in the world. Whew. The eye of the beholder. <laughs>